What's going on YouTube? It's OK Mon, I'm back with episode 2 of our Arna Electromancy build. My plan today is to knock out, hopefully, two more contracts here in Osberg, but that depends on how big the dungeons are. If the first dungeon we go into is small enough, we have enough time to go into the next dungeon and make that all one episode. If it's too big and it takes me too long, you get the idea, right? <laughs> you get the idea. Um, but before we can do any of that, I have some gold on the ground. I want to kind of like open this up and move a few coins around. That should be plenty. Drop that off. I'm going to repair my gear. I do have a net. Uh, probably going to sell this ring here. And I do have an enchanting scroll on the ground. I, I was debating on if I should use it, but hell. We have a silver topaz ring, which is pretty decent. And we get health restoration for it, so that's not too bad. Uh, let's take a look here. Sell the ring and the silver plate. What? Just selling silver plate and the ring. There was a couple things that I didn't do at the start of the uh, episode last time. And one of which was to steal from this weapons rack here. If we come on down and you drop both of these, I can space bar now steal these uh, arrows. And we want to make sure to get these sold up pretty quickly. Oh, and speaking of selling things quickly. The other thing I want to do is talk to the guard here. I want to make some more money. Uh, choose a ranged weapon. Take the crossbow. And that'll give us some more. Take a look. <laughs> you got a lot of... Oh my god. This is too much. This is too much. Now obviously that's a, that's a hack or a trick or whatever you want to call it. It's not supposed to be that way. The guards are supposed to look at you and be like, yeah, you stole our shit. Um, and be hostile towards you. But whatever. At the time being, they haven't fixed that. So make use of it. May as well. Uh, so sell, 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 sell that off. And there we go. We've made like 313 gold. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Next up, talk to the apothecary. Pick up a few more healing supplies. I also looted what I could that I dropped in the ground. So I looted these few items here. We do have some alcohol on the ground, uh, mead, manchuer, fortified, healing, healing, a couple of flails. I want to sell those. Oh, before I leave, let's double check. I'm pretty sure I stole from this guy. We sure did. So let's pop around town and uh, check the areas that we have looted once before and see if the items that we looted are now sellable. Because if they are awesome, we will turn those in and sell them, make some more money. Try to profit as much off of Osbrook as possible. There we go. What's in this one? Nothing. Let me sell this stuff to hold real quick. There we go. And here, take that straw. And, I don't know. Take the other garbage. Sell that. Fill the uh, traveling pot up as always and sell it off to this lady here. Margaret. Go ahead and take that for 17 gold. We'll pop in and talk to the Elder and see if he's got more items for us to sell. Mr. Elder, what do you have in here? Uh, talk to him. I'm going to grab the next contract. May as well. We are here. Uh, see if there's any other items inside. That one's empty. Okay. I mean, let me reorganize this. The straw is basically useless. That's 10. That's basically useless. Uh, a lot of these are basically useless. Wardrobe's empty. What about the nightstand? It was also empty. Okay. Head back out. Sell this stuff. What you selling? Go ahead and buy, buy, buy. Buy these. Um. Oh, yeah. The gaming dice. Collect water once again. This is uh, sells for 10. I don't know if I can make more money off of it now. Four. I think it's, you can make like two gold more off of it. And I think inside of here, there's one more section. And also, grab out the Manshire and the Mead and the Peasant Flails. I'm going to need all of these. Uh, reorganize so I have enough room. Head inside. Talk to this man here. He does have enough money for us to sell stuff off. There we go. Inside of our room, oh boy, that's a lot. Okay, um, yeah, give me just a moment. I gotta organize my backpack. Uh, open that up, move, 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 uh, move that over. 
Check, 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 check. Reorganize. Move this up, move that up. Oh goodness, what can I make profit off of? I think that'll work. <laughs> okay, jeez. There's a lot more money in there than I thought. Old buddy old pal, guess what? You're broke! What? Oh my god. Alright, well, we have to wait for him to restock. I'll move this stuff over. Actually, I'll forget about it. Just drop it all to the ground. At least that way it's visually there. Mr. Carpenter. Flail flail. And then once again, we got to fill up the uh, traveling pot with water and get that sold off, as well as the bottle of oil. So, collect water. Oops. Collect water. What you selling? Buy that. And sell off the bottle of oil. There you go. Awesome. Now we just need to rest up and get a good start for the morrow. The burial's right here. So that's the next location. I'll rest up and I'll meet y'all over there. Oh, looks like we just dinged by discovering the stone crypt. As always, another point into willpower. And if we look down through here, we actually have two ability points to spend. Uh, we did unlock the magic mastery. Uh, a couple of things to think about. I still can't buy these, right? They're still locked, which is fine. Now, here's my thoughts, right? Seal of Finesse uh, would be good to activate because it could reduce our backfire damage by 40% right off the bat. So if we look down and our backfire is pretty high, I would like to get that just reduced by spending a point. But I'm not too sure if I want to use it before or like before a fight or during a fight just to kind of reduce that. I was also thinking if we're fighting the troll, what's a good way to just flat out reduce your backfire damage without just skipping turns, skipping turns? Um, seal of finesse. Pop it. You're going to reduce your backfire damage and it allow you to continually cast spells without having to constantly worry about that backfire damage racking up. Uh, the other one is precise movements. Each ability point invested in a specialized school will also just reduce backfire chance, which is good. It's really good. Uh, right now, we only have the two invested. That's three points reduction. Uh, I have two more points to spend, which also would reduce uh, more. So that'd be like a six point reduction in backfire chance, which is currently sticking at 15 and 0.5. Uh, this is 15. Oops, sorry. Let me go back down to electromagnetic. This one here is 20, which is horrible. That's 25. This one is massive at 30% backfire chance. And this one is even worse. It's 43.5. So I definitely got to think about what, uh, what to do, what to utilize. Uh, if we do have Seal of Power on, that also adds another negative 5 backfire chance. So regardless, if I went for this one and the passive, it would be pretty dope. But also you get negative backfire, negative fumble, uh, backfire damage, and cooldowns. Cooldown duration is kind of what we were looking at initially to kind of get this down to a one round cooldown. I just hate the fact that this only lasts for 10 turns and you literally have to stand still for the first couple just to rack up enough uh, percentages or enough stacks to make it make sense. Um, let's just start off with Silla Power. Move on over to, oh gosh, I'm so confused as to which way to go. Let's do this one. I mean, remaining on the same tile for right now. I think that'd be appropriate. So it looks like we started off in a very small room, which kind of sucks. We need more room to be able to, you know, back away and cast Jolt to rack up resident stacks. But we will give it a shot. Um... Let me just pop number five. Get that seal of power going. We need to try to get him applied with resonance. Still nothing. Well, either way. He's now dead. Okay. This guy's getting applied with resonance. Yeah, 100%. Wait, wait. Do it again. Wait, wait. And I'm just going to whack him. Easy stuff. Is that what? It has... Uh, how much damage were we doing? 
Oh, and also, yeah, <laughs> I forget that uh, crits with stabs do re re uh, recharge energy. So it was uh, four sacred, three caustic, and six shock. <laughs> this is pretty broken. It's kind of like at this point we're uh, a battle mage and didn't even mean to do it. Oh, I missed. No, no, no. You reply with resonance. Resonance. I don't know why I'm critting so much. There we go. Boss room already? Okay. So number five for seal the power. Wait. Do some impulse and then whack him. He's dead. He okay, that's I, I can I can deal with that. I mean I I could do this all day, my guy. It doesn't bother me a bit. Oh, out of range. 53 <laughs> I, I could do this most of the day. I, I'm kind of running out of energy Let me just, let me push him back against the wall Hopefully he falls back Okay Almost Energy please Oh well. <laughs> we ran out of energy. <laughs> what are you gonna do? My energy restoration isn't that great at the moment. Maybe we recover energy at once every four levels. We could do better. And there's no chest here, so we got uh, kind of screwed there. Unfortunate. Alright, we did get stuck with a ghost. Let me just whack him. I should. Straight up kill him, yeah. I ain't even afraid of ghosts right now. And uh, reorg. Oh my goodness, I always do this, chat. Every single time. Uh, I should just put that on, drop that off. Goodness gracious. I don't know what I'm thinking. Won't be needing that. Just drop that off. Next one up. So five. Open. No ghost this time. Yeah, that's a no for me, too. Go ahead and use the ritual here. Kind of break that down. Looks like this guy stepped on a trap and his leg is completely broken. Maybe I can wall knock him. I did. Nice. He can't even move. Just for kicks and giggles. Oh, we, we killed him. I was hoping it would just knock him back, but whatever. There's a rat up there. Not too worried about that. He'll come to us. All right, behind this door is a bat and a ghoul. Okay. So the bat's going to run away and die. Let's not do that. Let's, let's fall back. I don't want him to eat. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. Easy game. Uh oh, get 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 in range, please, my guy. Thank you. Now fall back. Wait, wait, wait. Triple slaps. Dead. Zombie boy. We're gonna fall back here. Wait, wait, wait. Fly resonance. So he gets that knockback. And he's dead. Inside this chest, 
That's not bad. Um, go ahead and eat, eat. Uh, re oh, oh my God, move that over. Behind the next door is it a little zombie? Now, while this doesn't do a whole ton of damage at the moment, over time, this will do a lot better, especially with all the knockbacks and the chances to daze. Let's take a look at this. An impulse will give him negative shock resistance, negative control of 10, negative move of 15, and his cooldowns are increased. Good counter. And he's dead. I probably don't even need to do all these, these moves right now. <laughs> Could probably just whack him with the uh, Halo Blows and be fine. Halo Blows is so OP. Well, shoots in the ladders. Um, drop those for right now until we finish looting this place. Alright, little skeleton man, come to me, please. Knock you back. Come to me, come to me. No knockbacks. I cannot seem to apply this guy with any sort of electro resonance at all. The resistances are just too much. Okay, next skeleton up. Oh, you missed because you suck. You're trash. There we go. Give me those knockbacks. Come back here. How are you still alive? Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay, whatever. I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit number four for Halo Blows. Instead, I just uh, slapped on Seal of Power, which changed my Seal of Electromancy back to just Seal of Magic. Whoopsie. It's okay. We still lived. We only took a little bit of damage. I think it's the first time I've healed the whole time. <clears throat> okay. All right, we have another zombie up. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Oh crap, I screwed up. Oh. <laughs> what? Is because of that trap? Dude was already weak. All right, next room. That's not good. Okay, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Fall back, fall back. Wait for it, wait for it. Maybe, there we go. The rats did more damage than any of the other zombies ever did. This should be the final room. Go ahead and pop to the power. Unlock is the door. Fall back. Fall back. Wait for it. And he should be dead. Grab those two items up. Why is there a bone in my inventory? Alright, so this wasn't the last room, but we have, like, what, maybe two more sections? Seal the power, unlock the door, zombie boy, come to me. There 
There we go. Get that knockback going. And possibly dead. Possibly. There we go. Another, uh, well, skeleton this time. So hard to apply them with anything. There we go. We did it, chat. Uh, I'm just gonna triple wick. Yeah, that works. One trap down here in a vase. So I think we'll end up knocking out another dungeon after this. There we go. Ah, oh, don't step into him, stupid. Hit him. Oh my god, zap him. Now we're out of energy. So energy, uh, cooldowns, those are all going to be something got to worry about. Mainly energy, because if I have my cooldowns where I can spam these abilities, energy restoration is going to be way more important. Alright, let's do a quick... What, there's another room? Are you kidding me? Yep, apparently there is. Two out of three, okay. Hello, zombie. I am the angel of death. There you go. And this is even perfect. You're just gonna keep on getting knocked back into the wall. <laughs> just having a bad day. All right, that'll do it. Take care of that and break, break. So now we gotta grab our backpack up, grab the Saiga horns, wherever those were located, right there. Uh, but with that being said, I'll meet you all back in town and we'll turn this contract in. Looks like we got a little bit of an upgrade here with the traveling cape. This one gives us 1% energy and 3% dodge. This one here will give us 5 dodge, health, restoration of 2, and 42 to 5. While we lose that 1% of energy restoration, it's really not that big of a deal. Plus, if we got this enchanted with energy restoration, it would overall be way better. Um, I just got to find some room here, so let me open up. Could probably drop the bandages if they aren't worth that much. Uh, healing salves, put those all over there, and then we'll grab the cape instead. And that's only one. I'll drop that. Grab the golden nugget. All right, now that we're back in town, I went ahead and dropped some items off uh, because this, because hold you can't sell anything to just yet. So again, Psychopel gets dropped. Repair this for just a little bit of money. Nothing too crazy at all. Uh, everything else, though, I think we can sell. That's an enchanting scroll. The ring gets sold. And that gets sold off. Uh, the unidentified amulet, I'm going to drop that off, and, and we're going to be taking that to, uh, to Manshire instead. We'll get it identified there. But ultimately, though, we're just going to sell these items off, rest up, and accept the next contract. Mr. Bert, how you doing? I got some items for you. There you are. Next up, let's talk to Odar, grab a reward, four and five gold, and accept the Forgotten Tome quest. There we go. That'll take us straight north. So we're gonna rest up and meet up there. Well, I made it all the way up here, realized I forgot food and was collecting food along the way. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and cook this stuff up. And I probably have to eat a little bit. We'll see. That's a lot. Okay. Let me take a look. What? Our hunger is pretty good. So we must have ate uh, prior to going to bed. And I've uh, been plenty full. So I'm going to carry at least this much with me. It's all about 1%, 2% hunger. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get too hungry. Hopefully it's a smaller dungeon. Um, but yeah, let's head inside. All right, we're now inside the old abbey. Kill the cult leader and grab those old census records. Okay, the first enemy up was hidden. Is 
There's no way to kind of knock them against any walls, unfortunately. Not that I can see. Maybe this wall here if I fall back. There we go. He's dead regardless. We have a library. We'll loot it after. Screamer. Yep, she got us. Hopefully that knockback works. And she's dead. Alright, so we have a dead end. Head back towards the entrance. We have another bad guy. Oh, hello. Okay, wait for him to come to us. Fall back, fall back. Fall back. Wait. Impulse. Okay, these guys cannot live long enough to give me a challenge. Is there anybody else inside of this room? Just this guy? All right. Wardrobe, you got a, a silver plate. All right, there is somebody right behind this door. Seal of power. It's a dagger boy. And that's probably the boss shaper. We daze him. And he's dead. Yeah, that's definitely the boss chamber. Let's get her attention. Hopefully she's by herself. I don't want to aggro the boss just yet. All right, now we just wait. Well, the other guy's coming too. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I should have been smarter about that. We'll take this guy on next. Wait for him to come to us. Unidentified dagger. Won't be needing that. Okay, next room. We're going to fall back, fall back, fall back. He's got impulse and he's staggered. Now he's dazed and dead. Wardrobe's gonna be empty. Next wardrobe we have the shield treaties one. Okay, seal of power. Unlock the door. Kill the rats. Fall back, fall back. Wait for it. And then we just whack him three times. He's dead. Good deal. So we've cleared out all the enemies that are surrounding the boss chamber. I want to switch over, grab this net. Take a look at our hunger levels. Get that taken care of right now. And one more time. There we go. Perfect. We don't have to worry about getting hungry or thirsty during the fight. There he is. <clears throat> He's going to give us with Curse of Decay. You freaking burglar of turds. One, two. I'm going to have to offset that with a pain med. Oh, are you kidding me? Damn it. What? No! Stop healing him! That's ridiculous! What? Oh, 
Oh. Okay, woof! Unidentified dagger. Oh, that was already there. Get that throwing net back up. Potion, ID scroll, carved golden ring. Magical power and energy. Let's go. I have an enchanting scroll back at home and I can use that, which is perfect. Use this ID scroll. We got potion of accuracy. Heal that up. So I like using impulse. The problem I have with it is I have to be so close. And if you're trying to do a more or less uh, uh, a full kind of electro mage build, you don't want to be close to the enemies. You just don't. So I mean, maybe in the in, in the you know later down the road it wouldn't be a big issue, but I don't like being close. If only you could utilize impulse at a distance, it would be so much more effective. I don't even care if you need a passive. Like, if they add a passive down the Electromancy tree, that would say, hey, um, so long as you apply Jolt or, sorry, Resonance to enemies, you hit this up, uh, like, a ranged uh, impulse, and boom, they're uh, uh, applied with impulse. Something like that. I'd be okay with it. Go ahead, move everything over. Would we get uh, maximum health and experience? We won't be needing. Uh, wardrobe empty. Spool of thread. From this point on, I need to go pick up my backpack and loot the rest of these rooms. Uh, we have, let's see, a silver plate. A shelf that is empty. Another wardrobe. This one's going to have uh, Sword Treaties 1. And there is another room down here that apparently I didn't loot. We have a bat and the dagger guy. Get those knockbacks going. <laughs> uh, it's too much. Wardrobe's empty. Uh, we have another ID scroll. Goodness. Uh, two more rooms, possibly. What's this one? Another unidentified potion? Okay. Well, we have like two ID scrolls. Pick the lock. Just one of the dudes on the stake. We'll kill him for the experience. All right, let's get this potion identified. Restoration. We got a rabbit pelt. Nice. Bookcase to be empty. Also empty. Gaming dice. That's what we wanted in a bookcase. Maybe the last book. Oh my god. There's six bookcases and only gaming dice. What? Trash. This chest just redeemed me. Manchire fortified and some coins. Yippee. The last one's just going to be a cupboard and it's just got an aspergillum. That's it. Gross. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else on the ground that we need. Uh, apples, ID scrolls, a, a dagger. That's a potato. That's it. That's that's realistically all there is. All right. Well, let's go uh, head back to Manchire or Osbrook, whatever place it is. All right. We're now back in Osbrook. The first thing I want to do, uh, drop these books off, drop the two potions on the ground. because We're going to be sending all those over to Manchire. Uh, everything else I can sell off, though. What are you selling? Goodbye. Bye. 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 Oh, I sold the wrong one. Bye. 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 Sell those, sell this off, and we gotta go talk to the uh, the tanners. Hopefully the tanner can now sell all the stuff that I've dropped. Mr. Tanner? He can. I can't imagine he can buy it all. Hood, 
Rabbit. Oh, shite. Rabbit pelts. Old dog pelts. Talk to you again, please. How much money can you afford? <laughs> Not much more. Maybe a bolt of cloth. Maybe if I repair my gear. 128. He's not even the close. Okay. How about now? <laughs> He's still broke. Fantastic. Mr. Elder, we're here for our reward. 455 gold. Alright, from there. Um I'm gonna keep the manchair, sell the uh the bottle of mead. Open this up. What do we have? I'll need to restock a uh, pain med, restock a bandage, and maybe one or two more healing salve. Grab this enchanting scroll. We're going to use it on the ring. Gives us slashing resistance. Now talk to Jerg. Mr. Jerg going to... Uh, oh, God darn it. Repair. Oh, my God. Repair. Click the repair button. Um, Technical difficulties here. Now, the last thing I'm going to do before I end today's episode is a go over to Manshire and offload all the items that are meant to be in Manshire. Let me ride over to Manshire, please. Our first section is going to be where we offload all of the books. First, we're going to make sure we read them all. There we go. The second section, I always put my potions in the same spot. So go ahead and uh, offload, 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 offload. Uh, healing supplies that I... Or like healing related or... You know, actually, this is a trap. Let's put a trap there. Um, unidentified necklace. I'll put it over here. Go ahead and offload that. And oh, right, the uh, the iron ingot. That's for a quest. So offload. Lastly, Varid's ring. I should have offloaded it next to the book since that goes over to Bryn. This is basically my pile for Bryn. Uh, offload Baron's ring. That's about it. Realistically, we're done. I'm gonna head back to Osbrook. So my plan for the next couple episodes, or next episode at least, is to continue doing contracts in Osbrook. I could probably get away with doing contracts here in Manshire. I just don't want to. Honestly. I want to stay alive, and while all these are the only two moves I have currently. We need two more level ups before we get short circuit. That short circuit ability will allow us to hit harder and actually deal more damage to the enemies. It's just going to take us more time to get there. Uh, so we do have to get more willpower, more level ups before we start unlocking some of these stronger abilities. Um, ball lightning is okay. It's good for uh, CCing the enemies. Yeah, but I'm not in a hurry. So back to Osbrook we go. Let me ride back to Osbrook, please. All right, y'all. So that'll do it for today. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this channel with your friends and your family. I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.